All right, so what you will need is shampoo of your choice, some apple cider vinegar, and of course your brushes and combs. So the first thing I like to do is just go through with my rat tail comb and remove any hair or product buildup from my brushes, my toothbrushes, and my combs. So the process is very simple. I just, you know, stick the end of my rat tail comb through. And I do this because the soaking process is a lot easier when you don't have so much hair and product in your brushes and combs. And as you can see, my, <laughs> my edge brushes are very embarrassing. And that's because I get a lot of makeup trapped in there along with, you know, any gels or waxes that I could be using for my edges. So yeah, I just take my rat tail comb and I'm picking through it, just breaking down that product buildup. And I do the same thing with my combs, just removing all of that hair. And then I head over to the sink. I use a plastic bowl to help soak my brushes and combs. And then I add some of my apple cider vinegar. So apple cider vinegar contains alpha hydroxy acid, which basically is a natural exfoliator. And that's what helps the product build up from the brushes and combs kind of break down easier. And I also use hot water when soaking my brushes and combs because that also helps that product build up break down a lot faster. And as you can see, the water is filthy nasty, okay, because these brushes and combs were disgusting. Once the product buildup is kind of soft and easier to manage, I go through with a rat tail comb again and I just brush through and pick through all of my brushes. As you can see, it's very nasty. And I also take apart any brushes that can be removed into pieces because if you didn't know when you use these brushes like your Denman brush or a paddle brush, there's product buildup stuck behind the bristles. And it's very important to just clean that up because it's, it causes odor. There's a lot to it. So then I follow up by rinsing all of my products and just removing any product buildup once again. And I do this a couple of times, specifically because my brushes and combs were especially dirty this time around. I try to clean them at least every month. Um, that's an average amount, but to be very realistic, this happens like every two months because I have so many brushes and combs that sometimes I don't feel like cleaning them. But a monthly cleaning is, I think, fair enough to be able to have a healthy scalp and to ensure that your hair is not getting a whole bunch of buildup from these brushes and combs. So yeah, I'm just going through and kind of just cleaning them using water, using a rat tail comb. Um, removing any hair and all that. And while this is happening, I also have some water boiling on the stove because I'm gonna use that next. So I put all of the brushes and combs back into the bowl and at this point is where I add my shampoo. You can use any shampoo. And then here's where I add my boiling hot water because I just feel like it just does a little extra work. It's just an easier process for me when the water is very hot. And I let it soak for another two to three minutes and then I do my final step of just removing any more buildup. And this is just me ensuring that all of the buildup is gone to have the cleanest brushes possible. So as you can see in comparison to the first time you saw these brushes and combs, they look very clean, thankfully, because the apple cider vinegar and the hot water really make this process a lot easier. So then my last step is to just set all of these combs and brushes on the towel and I just let them dry and that's it. That's how I go about cleaning my brushes. I hope that this video was helpful you guys. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.